Hi, I'm Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Microsoft Planner to plan, schedule and coordinate and collaborate for my social media across a couple of different platforms, how we plan a couple of weeks ahead um, for both captions and images and how I do that with my VA who helps me. So we're working collaboratively and that's someone who is both um, for myself inside the organisation and then an external person who isn't actually part of my domain. So I hope there'll be lots of really great tips and tricks in here for you so that you can see a real world application for Planner in your business that you could maybe look to implement for yourself. So let's get started. So this um, is my Microsoft Planner board that I use for my social media and I wanted to show you it um, as it looks right at the moment without tidying it up or playing around with it so you can see how I work. So the first thing that you need to know is that I have a SharePoint site that I call Thrive Social Media and I am the owner of that SharePoint site and I've invited my VA Gemma and she is a guest on that site. So she can access and touch everything in that, in that particular site and nowhere else in my business. And we keep all of our social media graphics, we keep all of the um, planner board content and this is sort of our central brain dumping space which is why I use it this way. So the way we've set it up with our buckets we have a bucket that we call hashtags, we have another bucket which are the monthly themes and then we have um, a couple we have four buckets that I use regularly here so I uh, Gemma helps me with both Facebook and Instagram so we have um, week one we have a bucket for Facebook and we have a week one Instagram bucket and then we have the same for week two, okay? Now, I'm just going to go through each bucket really quickly so that you can see what we what we include. So um, the first bucket is my hashtags bucket. And in here, Gemma's done some great work to come up with my hashtag sets. So I've created some images in Canva to create um, some headers. You certainly don't have to do that. That's just me fiddling. Um, so that's an empty task. This task here, so Gemma's gone through and put through some of the times for posting as a reminder for us. Um, this one here is all of our hashtags in the sets, but I can go in then and pick and choose any of those that I would like to work on. And then she's got them all broken down into sets. So this is quite handy for me um, if I am working and I want to do something about tips and I might be doing it when I do a reel or um, a live, I can go in and I can copy this using Planner on my phone and paste it into my caption. So she has them all set up here so that they're ready to go. The next thing that I'm going to show you is how I work with um, the themes and the information that it shares for Gemma. So I'm going to take in this uh, bucket, monthly themes, so this is our current uh, monthly theme and we're about halfway through the month at the moment. So these are all sort of being scheduled. What it does is I share with Gemma then, she's got content for what's happening on our, um, throughout the month that'll be available for her to use in social media. So the month, the theme, the workshop that we're doing and the dates and the link to where people can purchase tickets are all put in the notes along with, now we usually do a new blog and a repurposed blog each month so that um, I'm repurposing the old content. So I share those in there as well. The details of our free training session each month are in the Microsoft Dynamo Facebook group. So she can promote that as part of a post about Microsoft Dynamo's in the month. I also have a checklist that I use and it helps me um, track what I'm planning to do in terms of YouTube and reels and lives so I can pop them all there um, and I usually go through and tick them off as we go. So I set a start date for the task of the first of the month and an end date of the 30th and I assign the task to myself because then it pops up in my reminders to make sure that I've got those things done. So I do one of those every month um, and I have I have set little Canva images that I use for my covers but you certainly don't need to do that. Um, and every month we do a new one. And once they're completed, you can see these are ones that we finished. So March was plan and prepare. February was workflows that work. Um, and you can see we've marked off all of those items. 
buckets that are left are the ones that Gemma works in. So when we're working collaboratively, Gemma will use the information I've popped in the monthly themes and she'll go through and she'll actually create the tasks for each day in that week that we're going to post. And I'll show you some completed ones. So these are ones that have already gone live. So you can see what we do is she creates each task is the date. So this is for the last week one we did in um, April, which is actually this week for us because we run on a fortnightly schedule. Um, so she's done, for example, this one that's gone up on Tuesday the 12th. So if I click open this task, the date is always the title for me. So I know that it's Facebook Tuesday the 12th of April. Um, normally she has, we have a, a few options here. So she will set this up as Maz to approve and she'll assign the task to me. She will then write the content, the caption, and she'll attach the image. And she does that by choosing it from team files. So Gemma creates the images in Canva. She downloads them and she puts them into the Thrive social media OneDrive folder that we share with the sort of a naming convention that we have. And then she can attach it to this image. It means now that the file sits in our OneDrive folder and in three months, six months, or even next week if she wants to post it on another platform, she can attach the same image. She doesn't have to recreate images each time. We've got that bank sitting there. They're branded, they're ready, and we can use them as we like. Um, so she'll go through and create all of these for me and she'll attach um, the image and then it will sit as Maz2 approve, which is me. Um, and then I will go through, so I get notified when I'm assigned a task, I get an email that says you have been assigned to a task and I can come in. I usually wait and she'll send me a message and say your drafts are all ready. Um, I'll come in and have a look at it. If I want to, I can make any edits to the content and I can say, look, uh, that doesn't really sound like me or I really want you to use this or can we make, and then I'll also often if I've got particular changes that need to be made that she needs to be aware of that she won't overlook, I will add it as a comment and I'll say, please edit the image to use this particular wording or can you change the graphic in the background? It's not quite right, whatever it might be. Um, and then I will tick it as Maz approved. And then I remove myself once I've approved it and I reassign it to Gemma. She then gets notified that she's been assigned a task. Um, and then Gemma will come in and she'll actually mark them as scheduled once she's put them into her scheduling program. So they're locked and loaded and then she'll mark them as complete. So the completed ones all sit here underneath. Um, so you can see at the moment week one is scheduled and done. Week two we're about to start prepping for so I'll get those in the next couple of days um, and I'll be able to go through and check all of those so that she can then schedule them and they will be there for you all to see on social media. So that is how I use Planner to both plan and schedule my social media content. It helps me keep all of my social media in one place. I can bring in my VA and she can work on it collaboratively in a safe space where all of the content sits. So she's got access to everything we've done before. It's also a really great way to compartmentalize things. So all of my social media is in that file, in that SharePoint site that the Planner board links to, and it's not sitting on another space. So my VA has access to that bit and not all of the other parts of my business. None of my clients have access to it because they aren't, aren't invited into those, into those boards. So it's a really handy way to work with Planner to get your email notifications, to be able to access content and go back and find content on the go. So Planner on my phone will give me all of that as well. Um, and I hope that it's shown you some different applications for a project management tool um, where you can really drill down and you can be quite specific and have a process that gives you control and oversight, but also doesn't take too much time and doesn't require you to have to be sending emails and messages backwards and forwards all the time. If you've enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updated and find out when there is more content available. You can also follow Thrive on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram and Pinterest, or you can become a member of Thriving with 365, our um, exclusive membership where you can access me and ask questions about how you can work with tools and products in your Microsoft 365 subscription like Planner so that you can get more bang for your buck and you can work smarter sooner.